Hey, what's up? Welcome to my channel, guys. Today we are going to discuss about three topics: hypoglycemia, hyperglycemia, and how exercise affects each of these things. Yeah, from as a personal trainer, that's what we need to know more than knowing what is hyperglycemia, what is hypoglycemia, and what are the symptoms. Of course, we need to know that just for knowledge' sake. But what we really need to know is the effect of exercise on each of these topics. Yeah. So these are three things that we are going to cover today in this video, and I'll also be covering something called as the Cori cycle. C O R I cycle. C Y C L E. so this is not given in your ace book this is out of syllabus as in this is something that i'm explaining extra so that you can understand this concept better now in ace they they just simply mentioned what is hypoglycemia what is hyperglycemia and they just simply mentioned in that book that you know high intensity exercise can lead to hyperglycemia and long duration exercise can lead to hypoglycemia in people or in clients who are diabetic they simply mentioned this one sentence and that's it so they left upon you to guess like you know what's happening behind it so i'm going to explain in this video the behind the scenes of it yeah what exactly they mean so that your concepts are clear because when that happens you're not just going to become a knowledgeable trainer but you'll also you know uh, be more useful to your clients okay and uh, sorry not just you'll not just be uh, knowledgeable as a trainer but you'll also be able to clear the exam because what we are trying to do over here is you know get you to clear the ace exam and in case you're wondering why i have kept that behind me it's i'm just showing off guys <laughs> simple anyways let's let's get back to the topic hypoglycemia and hyperglycemia you have always heard about things like you know hypersensitivity oh my god this guy is hyper you know he's too energetic hyper so the the moment you hear the word hyper then you should understand it's too much too much of something right so in this context hyperglycemia means a uh, excessive rise of your blood sugar levels excessive levels of sugar in your blood or excessive level of glucose in your blood in your blood stream right that is called hyperglycemia and hypoglycemia will obviously be the opposite of that you know just as we say hypocaloric diet you know so hypo is going to be the opposite of hyper which means low blood sugar levels the sugar levels in your blood stream or the glucose levels in your blood stream are going to be low it's going to be very low uh, so that is hypoglycemia now the symptoms in both of these cases are pretty much similar you will have excessive thirst excessive hunger irritability you will feel a little bit of nausea you know dizziness and all of these things so what i'll do is after i explain each of these topics to you guys what i'll do is i'll show you my notes as well so whatever i'm explaining in this video everything i've written down as well in form in the shape of notes so i'm going to show you those notes so in so you don't have to watch this video again and again you can just look at the notes and you'll get a gist of everything that i'm talking about or discussing in this particular video yeah so you can take screenshot when i show you my notes all right now now the most important topic which is the purpose of this video is hyperglycemia i mean uh, high intensity exercise can lead to hyperglycemia and long duration exercise can lead to hypoglycemia why is that we are going to find that out now ha huh. okay so before i explain that before i tell you the answer to that before i explain the concept i want you to know a little bit of general info and in case you haven't watched my video that i made on insulin you know uh, insulin sensitivity diabetes type 2 diabetes type 1 diabetes what's the difference all of these things if you don't know then this video will be a little difficult for you to understand so i want you to pause the video right now go to the description there will be a link over there click on that link and watch that video first before you come here yeah all right so first i want you to know a few a little bit of intro as in a little bit of few things about you know what happens in your body so i want you to find out i want you to uh, think what are the ways that blood sugar level increases or what are the ways that you know uh, sh the sugar levels in your blood can go up let's try to find that out first so what are the sources for that first is if you eat 
any carbohydrate rich food right carbs go to your stomach it breaks down into glucose and it goes to the bloodstream so through food your blood sugar levels can rise what else muscle glycogen yeah there's something called glycogen stores in your muscles which can break down that glycogen into glucose and path push it into the bloodstream that is one more way what else liver glycogen there's something called liver glycogen the liver can also break down glycogen convert it into glucose and push it into your bloodstream right what else even stress even if your stress level rises your insulin i mean your blood sugar levels can rise up right you have seen people with high blood sugar problems if they if the stress level increases there's something called hormone there's a hormone called cortisol the cortisol levels increases so stress can also lead to a spike in your blood sugar levels as in glucose will be pushed into your bloodstream even for even if you have stress now let's also try to know understand a little bit about cori cycle what is cori cycle and how can that increase your blood sugar levels yeah cori cycle c o r i space cycle c y c l e so what is cori cycle cori cycle is also called as lactic acid cycle yeah and this is a cycle in which listen to me carefully yeah cori cycle is a cycle in which your lactate present in your muscle the lactate that is built up in your muscle is is pushed to the liver where it is broken down into glucose and pushed into the blood stream i'll say that again yeah stay with me, stay with me. don't get distracted cori cycle is a cycle in which the lactate that is built up in your muscles during exercise is pushed to the liver where it is converted into glucose and pushed to the blood stream for again energy right so the so every time you do any kind of high intensity exercise right what happens you we already studied about you know when you train in that vt between vt1 and vt2 something called anaerobic glycolysis happens i explained all that too in this channel so when that happens blood lactic acid uh, sorry uh, the lactic acid starts building up in your muscles then it goes to the blood stream you know we have heard about all these things so during that anaerobic glycolysis this lactic acid that is built up in your muscle it is also pushed to the liver through something called as cori cycle so when it is pushed to the liver what liver does is it will convert that lactate into glucose and push it into the blood stream for further energy so these are all the ways by which your blood sugar levels can rise there can be a spike in the blood sugar levels these are all the ways liver glycogen muscle glycogen cori cycle that is the lactic lactic acid built up in your muscle or the lactate in your muscle is converted into glucose and pushed to blood stream stress levels can increase your blood sugar levels right so now try to think try to imagine like if someone whose insulin is not working properly right diabetic patients their insulin is not able to regulate the blood sugar levels when there are so many ways that the blood sugar is increasing they are not able to regulate the blood sugar levels right so those are the people who are more prone to hyperglycemia or hypoglycemia you know stuff like that especially hyperglycemia right now we are going to we are talking about how high intensity exercise can trigger hyperglycemia that's what we are going going to discuss next so so far it's clear you understood what are the ways blood sugar levels can rise you understood that you also understood what is hyperglycemia and what is hypoglycemia and what is the difference hyper means extra more blood sugar hypo means let less blood sugar levels low very low blood sugar levels and the symptoms are pretty much similar you know excessive thirst excessive hunger irritability dizziness tiredness you know stuff like this okay so how can high intensity exercise trigger hyperglycemia very simple what happens when you are doing heavy weight training right you are doing intense heavy weight lifting you know bench press deadlift squats you are doing intense weight training it is high intensity it is high intensity exercise do you agree yes what about high intensity interval training what about those short bouts of cardio that you do you know within 10 seconds or 20 seconds you go all in you know and then you take rest so when you exercise like that what happens what is that it's high intensity right it's high intensity so so now you tell me what happens when you do any kind of high high intensity exercise two 
two things happen one is of course technically speaking anaerobic glycolysis that is there is a build up of lactic acid in your muscles right that is one thing that happens so your uh, blood lactate levels will increase your muscle lactate levels will increase agree do you agree with me when you do high intensity exercise there is a build up of lactic acid in your muscles agreed that is one thing that happens what is the other thing that happens when you do high intensity exercises stress yes high intensity exercise is a torture guys it is stress so every time you experience stress what happens a hormone called cortisol is released which in turn is going to increase your blood sugar levels right it is going to spike the blood sugar levels we already just we just learnt it right that stress can also increase the blood sugar levels so every time you are doing high intensity exercise you are placing a lot of demand on the body right your body is asking for glucose because you are placing so much stress on your muscles it is asking for a lot of glucose so what will that what will happen when it is as when your body starts asking for a lot of glucose what happens your muscle glycogen levels will break down your liver glycogen is going to break down break down as in they are going to convert that glycogen into glucose and push it into into the blood stream then there is whole process called cori cycle that is happening right cori cycle is happening to remove that lactate present in your muscles or built up in your muscles and convert it into glucose via the liver right so all of these things is happening so from multiple directions glucose is being pushed into your blood stream think about it via cori cycle because of lactic acid build up in your muscle via your liver glycogen you know via your muscle glycogen all of these things are working together to push energy or push glucose into your blood stream this is what happens when you do high intensity exercise now think if you if you are a diabetic patient whose insulin is not working properly to regulate these blood sugar levels what will happen what will happen high per glycemia that's what's going to happen if you are a diabetic patient even if you if you don't have diabetes also when you do excessive high intensity exercise why do you feel dizzy have you seen that sometimes after doing heavy squats you feel dizzy sometimes after doing high intensity uh, exercise you feel like puking you feel like you know you're about about to faint or something like that why is that happening because it can trigger to a condition called hyperglycemia which means excessive blood sugar levels excessive sugar levels in your blood stream that is hyperglycemia so you can have a hyperglycemia attack or you can become hyperglycemic while doing high intensity exercise more so more so if you have diabetes if you are someone whose insulin is not doing is doing its job properly to regulate those blood sugar levels now now do you understand why high intensity exercise can trigger hyperglycemia in diabetic clients or in diabetic patients now do you understand that clear once i'll show you my notes it will become more clear you'll be able to see everything and you know keep a stock of whatever i'm saying right now next let's move on to the next topic which is hypoglycemia so the blood sugar levels is dropping down dangerously low very low right right and this happens so they have mentioned that long duration exercise can trigger hypoglycemia now that is a no brainer that is common sense right if you are doing long duration exercise that means the intensity is not very high so there is no chances of hyperglycemia intensity is not high but the duration is high you are working out for a really long time guys even if you are a normal guy even if you don't have diabetes you if you work for work out for 2 hours sometimes you feel dizzy or you feel excessively hungry right these are all symptoms of hypoglycemia it is not inherently bad it is just a temporary situation but if you are a diabetic patient then it can cause problems right it can be very very irritable and very annoying for you because you don't have your insulin doing its job properly so so how does long duration exercise lead to hypoglycemia or trigger hypoglycemia obviously if you are working out for a long duration all the glucose that is present in your blood stream will be used by your body right because it has to work it's been working out for such a long time one and a half hours or two hours and let's say you didn't eat anything so it is not getting any glucose in the blood stream via food also right so whatever 
glucose was already available in the bloodstream be it through uh, liver glycogen liver breaking down glycogen and pushing the glucose into the bloodstream or your muscle glycogen stores breaking down into glucose and pushing into your bloodstream so all of these little bit that is available in your bloodstream it all gets utilized right what happens when that happens when all the you know glucose present in your bloodstream is taken up by your body because you have been working out for such a long duration that's when you experience something called hypoglycemia that is low blood sugar levels now if you are a normal person maybe to some extent insulin will come to your rescue and it will try to regulate your blood sugar levels so something it will do but if you are diabetic there is a very good chance that you will have a hypoglycemic attack so what to do in those in that scenario you will probably give them something called simple sugar you know a little bit of glucose or something like that you will be giving giving them right so that they temporarily they are back to normal right and uh, even if they are suffering from high blood sugar levels and still if you give them a little bit of extra glucose or extra sugar it's not going to hurt them at that point so don't worry about it what you should not do is don't give them a candy or a chocolate you know because what that does is those are complex carbs even though there is sugar in it those are complex carbs so what what happens when you eat complex carbs or something that is high in protein and fat now we know that protein and fat takes longer time to digest we already know that you don't need to know the science behind it you can just guess like fat is takes more time to digest protein also takes more time to digest compared to carbs right so when you give them food which is high in protein or high in fat or even something that is like complex carbs what happens is it takes more time for that food to digest and break down into glucose and be pushed to the blood stream and at that moment you need something instant you want instant glucose because you are hypoglycemic right so at that time you should give something like simple sugars give them some sugar to eat you know so that instantly they can break it down into glucose and push it into their blood stream understood so this is how high intensity exercise can trigger hyperglycemia and long duration exercise can trigger hypoglycemia now let's take a look at my notes so let's take a quick look at my notes go ahead and take a screenshot if you want so in case you have already purchased my pdf notes pdf format of all my all these notes including all my chapters notes chapter wise notes and all that you will already have it with you the miscellaneous notes that i have sent you the pdf of my miscellaneous notes in that you will file find all of these things so don't worry if you have already purchased it you will have all of these things in pdf format and if you don't you can take a screenshot done that's it next i'll also be making a topic on nutrition so don't worry guys stay tuned Thank you for watching you can catch me on Instagram as athlete.sanju s a n j u